I wanted to talk about my most worn Chanel handbag and my experience with it. What is my most used Chanel bag? My Coco handle. I have been trying to dissect what it is about this bag that uh, out of all of my bags, even though my favorite bag from my Chanel collection is my reissue, this is the bag that I gravitate towards the most. I have had this bag since 2020, I believe. So I've had it for about going on three years. And the first year, obviously, it was we were locked down, so I didn't use it all that much. And I was kind of regretting buying it for a little while. So the first reason why I think this is uh, my most used Chanel handbag is the color. Because it is in this particular color, I think is the reason why I gravitate towards it so much. It's kind of like a denim blue color. So it almost works like a denim bag. And so I, I think that that's why I really like it. I think that the cocoa handle just in general is a personality handbag and so the fact that i got it in a very unique color makes me gravitate towards it a lot more i think that when you kind of figure yourself out you kind of want to have whatever you're wearing be representative of your style and so since this is in a very specific color i feel like it is very specifically my bag you know what i mean and the other thing is the handle i really do feel that i'm so long as the bag isn't very heavy or big or I don't overstuff it and it's not like annoying, I'm really remembering how much I like to top handle a bag. And so I think that if I had the other size that's uh, one size smaller, I'd probably wear it even more because I still find this slightly big, but it's it's fine. I, I still prefer something like this right like that size which they're not that far away from each other but this feels a little bit more compact and so I do think that if I would have bought this in the smaller size I would wear it a lot more however because of the the color and specifically the denim leather look of this I end up gravitating towards it so so much and the other thing is it's not a a typical looking Chanel bag. I think that with Chanel, we all know like the diamond quilting in black and gold, and that tends to be a very traditional Chanel looking handbag, which I love. But because this isn't that, I've not seen it on anyone else. And so for me, I'm like, this is like my bag. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but you, if if I'm out and about, and it's happened to me before and I'm wearing the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and I run into like five people that are wearing the bag. It, it's amazing. I, I th Obviously it's a great bag and that says a, a lot about the bag being amazing, but it just, I don't end up feeling like it's my bag. At least here in LA, you do see it a lot, a lot of monogram and stuff like that. So it's, it's really hard to distinguish your own personal style when you see something coming and going a lot. I hope that makes sense. The other thing that I find really useful about this particular bag, which I feel is really something that Chanel does really well, is putting a back pocket on, on, on their bags. And while many people don't like to put anything on here, I think that if I'm at the grocery store or if I'm running an errand really quickly, I will you know pay for something and then just put my credit card in there until I get to the car and then I'm, I have the time to put it in my wallet. And so I really love this space back here. I feel like it makes the bag ultra functional and I really appreciate that it's just really compact. It's There's no zipper. I could just put something in there really, really quickly. And so I really, really love that. The other thing is it's a very, very spacious handbag, even though I hear so many comments about this bag not being spacious. And it's very confusing for me because if you look at this bag, it has the exact same amount of space here that it has here. It's split right in the middle. Therefore, you have the exact amount of space that you have here, here. Now, for whatever reason, um, I think it's obviously the way it's stitched. It might appear 
that you have less space or that this back pocket isn't very functional, but I can fit so much stuff back here and I just don't understand why I, there's so many conversations, even with that mini, uh, the mini size of this, you have, they're equal parts, you guys, even though it's right split in the middle. Um, so you do have so much space here in the back. It's a line. So you have the same amount of space. You guys don't, if, if you hear anyone saying otherwise, they're just not using it properly. And honestly, the more that you use it, the more that this will kind of soften or loosen to make it more functional. And I really like that. So I end up, I do end up putting things in the back that I don't reach for frequently and I keep the things that I reach for more frequently in the front pocket but it is equal parts and I don't understand th these conversations it reminds me a little bit of the toy Lulu in the way that uh, if you ever saw that review that I did where people kind of said the same thing it is equal parts you guys so Keep that in mind. Uh, I, I always think it, it's always confusing for me when I hear people reviewing it and saying those kinds of things uh, about this book. I tend to not crossbody, which I it was one of the reasons why I didn't um, want to buy this to begin with because it didn't crossbody on me. I did purchase a chain and I adjusted things for it to crossbody. And I wore it that way for some reason this year and last year. I'm not loving crossbodying my bags, but I will say that that is what is really good about buying a, a versatile handbag that if you change your mind and you're not into crossbodying it for the time being, you can hand carry it and you have options right and so that is one of the other reasons why i really love this bag i don't consider this bag a dinner bag at all i think it's too big i think it's a great daytime bag and i would wear it with what i'm wearing now i'll go ahead and post a photo of what i'm wearing with uh this bag and hopefully i'll put it over here but it is an amazing handbag and i love to wear it casually i know it's been said that this is fancier handbag I don't think so. I think there's something so cool about even here, like in Los Angeles, it, it's one of the reasons why I love it. I see a lot of the Chanel 19. I see that bag all of the time in all kinds of colors. It's never just in black, which I think is pretty cool um, that it, everyone is carrying a different version of that bag. But I do see that bag a lot. And what I don't see is this. And there are times that I think, oh man, maybe I should, you know, I, I should jump on that bandwagon, but this is more of a me bag. And so at the end of the day, you want to wear things that suit your style and suit your personality, right? And this is such a personality bag. So I'm thrilled still with this bag. So happy that I purchased it in this particular color. It wasn't like overtly popular. And I think that that is something that I love. I, I, I'm i always hesitant when things are just so super saturated uh, in popularity. I, I think that actually a lot of people have moved on from the Coco handle um, to like buy like Hermes and stuff like that. I'm still a huge fan of this bag and I would never even consider selling this. I always talk about my children are creating wearable memories and I feel like I've done that with this. It's it's going to be a bag that they remember and that I have a lot of fun wearing. And uh, maybe there's a little slight colored uh, discoloration, but I'm not sure if it's the light. Maybe here in the corner. Very, very light. But again, it's meant to be worn. I, I love it. I would say corner wear slight corner wear but still so beautiful so I, I it's just a delicious leather I love caviar leather I've said in color way more than I like it in black I don't like caviar leather in black it's just it, I don't know it just doesn't I don't know I don't like it but caviar leather Chanel bags are so pretty in in very specific colors I think so that is my quick review of my Coco Handle, my three year wear and tear, and my most used Chanel bag for the last two years. 
Let me know what your most worn Chanel bag is in the comments section down below. I would love to hear it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and I will chat with you guys later.